we have studied in compressible fluid flow that is Mach number which is equals to velocity of the fluid to the velocity of the sound as well as we have studied various formulas of velocity of sound in adiabatic process, isothermal process and for a compressible fluid. So let us study and apply these equations and solve real life problems on that number. So we have a question over here which states that for a find the value of sonic velocity for the following fluid. The crude oil having this having specific gravity of 0.8 and the bulk modulus of 15036 newton per centimeter square. So we have to calculate the sonic velocity. Sonic velocity that is the velocity of sound for two fluids. First is the crude oil, next is the mercury, and whose density we already know density of mercury is. 14,600 kg per meter cube and we know what is bulk modulus that is so that is given to us 2648-8700 so now let us calculate the sonic velocity with respect to bulk modulus so now let us write down the data which we know over here so first what is given to us is specific gravity of crude oil which is 0 0.8 into 1000 that will give us the density that is 800 kg per meter cube specific gravity of oil is given as equals to 0 0.8 similarly specific gravity of mercury is equals to 13.6 which we already know and density of mercury will be equal to 13.6 into 10 to power 3 kg per meter cube. So these are the values which we know. And what else is given to us? That is, let us see from the previous part, that is value of bulk modulus that is 150, 36 and 264.8700. So let us write down the value of bulk modulus. Bulk modulus of oil it is given us as 15036 newton per centimeter square. We'll convert this in newton per meter square. We know that 1 meter square is a 10 raised to minus 4 centimeter square. So it will substitute K of oil will be equals to 15036 into 10 to power 4 newton per meter square. Similarly, K of mercury is given to us as equals to 2648700 Newton per centimeter square. So, K of Hg will be equals to 2648700 into 10 to power 4 Newton per meter square. So, we have got two values of k that is the bulk modulus. Now let us calculate the velocity of sound. So we know that the velocity of the sound can be expressed in terms of bulk modulus as equals to c equals to that is a square root of k upon rho. So over here we can calculate, we can substitute first both the values of rho as well as k then we can calculate the velocity velocity of sound in that medium. So C of oil can be written as the square root of K of oil upon density of oil which is given as the square root of you know the value of K is 153026 into 10 to power 4 upon density of oil which is given to us as 800 kg per meter. Q. On calculation of this part, we we'll get C of oil is 13, 1383 meters per second. That is the velocity of sound in liquid, that is in crude oil, is 1383 uh, meters per second, that is approximately 1.3 kilometers per second. Uh, here, the velocity of sound is greater in the liquid because. 
was the sound travels when sound travels when we have a medium which is very close to each other that is the intermolecular distances between the particles are very less and the particles are very close to each other so so that the pressure wave or the sound wave can travel in form and rare fractions this is only possible if the density of the uh, if the molecules of the fluid are very close to each other so we have got what is speed of sound in oil let us calculate what is speed of sound in mercury so c of hg is equal to k of hg that is mercury bulk modulus and density of mercury so that is equals to that will be equals to this can be written as the bulk modulus is 2648700 into 10 to power 4 upon the density that is 13.6 into 10 to power 3 on calculation of this c of hg comes out to be 1395.55 meters per second so we have calculated the velocity of sound the common mistake which students occur do over here is that they do not calculate the square root of this entire part that part is really important because the velocity of sound uh, that is important to calculate the velocity of sound taking the square root of, of this fraction so I hope you have understood how we have calculated the velocity of sound in two different fluids that is crude oil as well as mercury by knowing its bulk modulus and density. Thank you.